Hi everybody, meteorologist Sherry Spear here and we've been talking about Hurricane Ian and what a big storm this is and I wanted to take some time to explain why it's such a powerful storm. You need three ingredients to make a really powerful hurricane. You're looking for warm sea surface temperatures. Think of it like putting gas in a car, right? The warmer the water, the stronger the gas. And we've got water temperatures in the Gulf of Mexico almost 90 degrees. So uh, this storm had lots and lots of fuel. You also look for a very moist environment, sometimes something called the Saharan air layer can actually get uh, pulled into our atmosphere and it's like dust. Dust would suppress a storm. We have no dust, lots of moisture feeding into Ian as well. And you want the winds outside of the storm to be relaxed. It's something called wind shear. When you have too much wind shear, it kind of tears a hurricane apart. We don't have that. So everything came together, really powerful storm system. It actually underwent something called an eyewall replacement cycle overnight last night, which took its wind field from here to here. So we've got a bigger storm on our hands this morning and it's just so strong. I mean, we're talking winds nearly category five. Um, and as it tracks towards the coastline as a major hurricane, we've got catastrophic winds. I mean, catastrophic is not a word that you throw around. National Hurricane Center definitely saying catastrophic winds. Storm surge, that's up to the second story of some buildings, if not the roof. Florida's very flat, so that is significant. And on top of that, of course, the wind damage itself. And it's not zipping along, it is slowly crossing Florida, which means this isn't like a, a storm that we're dealing with for a few hours. This is a storm we're dealing with for a few days. So, you know, our thoughts are with everybody in Florida. I know we have lots of friends and family down there. We'll continue to track it, but there is a good reason that the storm is so powerful and we're so concerned.